way. anything about your body being a mimeosome, do you? He's losing his biocirculatory plasma. I can't fix this here. Elma, I need you to contact the mimeosome maintenance center for me. Ask them to have a type 085 left arm and transfusion ready ASAP. You got it. I'm going to have to take you offline for a bit here, okay? We'll resuscitate you back in New L.A. Don't 
Don't worry, you're gonna be fine. I promise, okay? Welcome back. So, how's that new left arm feeling? Man, what a relief. You're lucky Lynn was with us. If she hadn't acted as fast as she did, you might have bled out entirely. We could have lost your whole unit. Oh, it was nothing. Before we go any further, I wanted to apologize. I should have realized you might have forgotten about this, but... As you probably noticed, the body you're inhabiting is artificial. We call them mimeosomes. Mims for short. Mimeosomes are designed to mimic human physiology as much as possible. The whole point is for us to forget about them. That way, we can still enjoy the things we love, like cooking. We're all like this. Every single crew member that escaped on the White Whale. All of us are Mims. But why would friends all become robots? Well, just think about it. It could have taken decades to find a new planet to call home, or even centuries. We had no idea. Who would want to crew the ship if they knew they were going to grow old or die along the way? Hmm, Tatsu C. Linley Point. Our actual bodies are waiting in the life hold, in stasis with all the human passengers. We control our mimeosomes remotely from there. So you see, that's why it's so important for us to find and protect the life hold. Our lives are on the line here, too. If the life hold were to stop functioning for any reason while we're still there in stasis. Everyone, including every mim in New LA, would drop dead on the spot. That reminds me, something else you should know. It's possible for us to switch to another Mimeosome if these bodies fail or become too badly damaged. But the process requires equipment from the Lifehold Core, the central unit of the whole operation. Meh meh! So what if Gangly and her big beastie smash friends robot Mims? We wouldn't be able to come back yet. For now, we need to consider these Mims as precious as we would our real, actual bodies. Don't get reckless out there just because you're in a menu zone. That's an order, you hear? One last thing, and I need to trust you all to keep this quiet. It's sensitive info, so HQ has only been telling team leaders about it. We can't have a panic on our hands. The readout on Blade Tower. You've seen it? It's not some kind of special clock or anything like that. It's a countdown. Big number counts down to what? The life hold shutting down. What? The life hold lost its power source when we lost the White Whale. It's been running on backup ever since. We need to locate the life hold and get a power source in place by the time that percentage reaches zero. And if we don't? These bodies will no longer sustain us. We'll die. 
Not just die, Lin. Die out. It would mean the end of the human race as we know it. The end of everything. Well, on that cheerful note... Okay, Rook. You good to go? Then let's report back to HQ. I'm sure the Commander will want to hear about this himself. Right. I was this strong when I needed to be. I can help. Welcome back. Your floppy friends here filled me in on everything. You did good. Just watch yourself out there, Big Shot. You're still new at this, and we can't afford to lose you. We only got so many spare parts to go around. You mean that, are we? You took a nasty hit, no? He'll be fine. I patched him up myself. That's great, isn't it? We were worried sick, you know? We're still new in town. Wait, then Manon will live here too? Correct. The NLA government has reached an accord with the Manon people. A friendship treaty. It guarantees their safety and provides them a place to settle here in the city. That's great to hear, Director. I wasn't sure how you'd react. Hmm. We don't need to be from the same species to be able to recognize our common ground. Someone told me that once. That was a lifetime ago. That's quite a memory you have. A blessing and a curse, believe me. So, you're all stuck here too, right? We were just cruising along out in space, you know? And suddenly, our nav system goes all screwy, and we find ourselves here. Which is pretty weird, considering our tech is far more advanced than anything Samar's got. You saw how bad they wanted it, yeah? Samar? I thought it was the ganglion that attacked you. You don't know about Samar? The Interstellar Federation, Samar? I mean, they only rule over a radius of six million light years or so of space. Six million? But that would span multiple galaxies. Well, yeah. The Ganglion are a run of the mill crime syndicate. Just one tiny part of Samar, you know? Just one tiny part. My good man. In the spirit of our agreement, we'd appreciate any intelligence you'd be willing to share. Of course, of course! We'll tell you all we know, okay? After all, we are friends now, right? We are, right? Friends? Earth human heroes will protect us, right? Because we live here now! <laughs> 